So here are your recovery guidelines. Stop using the damaged domain and put it into artificial warming until all signs point to health. Could be weeks, could be months. Run an audit across everything outlined in this presentation. Are you acting like a spammer, spoofer, scammer? Or at this point, you could get help from a professional. For example, you know we run audits and fix issues like this all day long. So that's basically what we're trying to do with a lot of folks. You could Then you need to rotate in a ready domain, one that's properly aged and warmed, and set it up in Apollo to send. Then you need to scale up very slowly, adding 25 additional cents per day and sending to your most receptive audiences first. So some pro tips. If you're sending via SendGrid, you might have to rotate IP addresses, change IP pools completely, or run much deeper and more complex diagnostics to assess your issues. Don't forget, SendGrid is a, a power tool. It's not really like a consumer grade thing. So you're playing with some heavy duty stuff there. So there might need some heavy duty fixes in order to get your SendGrid working in the way you need it to. Next, you need to confirm that you're only sending to verified leads. And uh, consider exporting your data from Apollo and using additional lead cleaning tools if you need. You might even need to filter out what are called accept all email addresses, which could have a higher chance of bouncing. So it's a sort of deeper clean or like some sort of power cleaning. And lastly, get used to leveraging Apollo's other tools, like the LinkedIn tools, the telephone tools. There are other ways to generate leads beyond cold emailing and sometimes uh, deliverability disruption is the perfect time to use those. And my final piece of advice is get help.